So you guys have probably seen Kevin chilling in the back of my videos here for the last couple weeks. So I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing and testing of Kevin, show you what he's like. Come along on this adventure. So here's Kevin, and let's see what's in his box. There he is. So this is what my new Wi-Fi router looks like. It'll look perfectly great on my kitchen counter, right in the middle of the house. Everyone will see it and notice it, and get great 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi. On his front, we got a power LED here. His eyes don't move, they're just plastic. His boots are rubber though. Okay. Over here in his butt, we've got WAN and LAN. One of these is supposed to be two and a half gig, I'll have to test that. Got a mesh button. It can only mesh with other nodes from the same brand. So if you wanna buy a bob, you can mesh him with a bob or another Kevin. You can turn the LED off with a physical switch. Very nice, because those LEDs can get irritating. And of course, power. As for accessories, let's see what else. Oh, oh. Regulatory compliance information. Throw that right out. So he comes with a nice yellow and blue Ethernet cable. This will blend in perfectly wherever you put him. So stick with unique password. I really do appreciate this touch. Every Kevin comes with his very own unique password. And this little sticker here has the password for your very Kevin. And that way, we don't have people going out there with default passwords of like admin admin or something like that. It's secure out of the box. Even if the password's not fantastic, it's better than a default. So let's get Kevin set up on my network. So I've got Kevin up here on top of my computer. I'm gonna plug him in and see what happens. So it looks like they're using 172.70. I really like that they're not using 192.168.1.1 like everyone else, just to avoid conflicts. I'm not sure if this .20 is random or if they just chose it, but it's a good choice. They also have an IPv6 ULA. It looks like they're using DHCPv6. So I come here to log in and I'm asked for a password. The password for Kevin is unique. He's got some pretty good security here. It's not just admin admin. His username is actually Kevin. His password's written on a sticker on the bottom. Okay, so do we want automatic upgrades? Sure. GMT minus five, do that savings time, yes. This looks like he had an IP address on my CGNAT connection. His link is one gig, one gig. So I should test this with two and a half and see what I find. And we have an SSD called Kevin and it has a password. Again, it has a randomly generated Wi-Fi password that's not the same password as the management password. And that's also written on the bottom of the device. My network topology. So I have just Kevin, and nobody else. Oh, I can do a bunch of SSIDs. So it looks like I can do eight in the 2.4, eight in the five, and eight more in the six. So bridge mode here. We'll basically make it just an access point. So we can choose channel width. Usually you want 40 or 80 at home. 160 is not really super common, but we'll let him use the DFS channels and see if he does. So unified configuration mode, we can have eight SSIDs, zero to seven. They all have a name and they have a key. So in separate mode, we get separate settings for each radio. So in 2.4, we can choose WPA2 and three. They don't even let us choose WEP. I really like that. And then on six gigahertz, we have to choose WPA3 because that's required. So looks like my only options are WPA, PSK or none, so no enterprise. If I choose none on 6 gigahertz, I get OWE. If I choose none on 5 gigahertz, looks like it just does no encryption. So one thing I am missing is IPv6 settings. I know this is a pretty cheap access point, but that's something I'd like to see even on low-end equipment these days. So a bit of follow-up from Kevin. Both the WAN port and the LAN port are 2.5 gig. They both work at 2.5 gig. The radios are not particularly fast. Um, he has a Qualcomm IPQ5018 chipset, which hopefully OpenWRT supports, because then I can flash with OpenWRT. I set him up as an access point, he works just fine. Um, I don't actually own any six gigahertz devices to test. So I bought an Intel Wi-Fi card for this guy, an M.2, and um, it worked at six gigahertz. So I guess I have Wi-Fi 6E now, but until I get a laptop or a phone with 6E, not a lot of point in deploying it is there. Still, Kevin was pretty cheap. If you want to buy a Kevin for yourself, I got a link down below in the description. That's an Amazon affiliate link. If you want to buy the smaller Bob, Bob does not have a Qualcomm chipset. Bob does not do six gigahertz, but um, I don't know what else you want to know about Bob. I don't have a Bob, but his link's down there too. He's small. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next adventure.